Alright, well, uh, I wanted to make this video while the ideas are still fresh in my head, my experiences and everything are still, still in my head the way that I'm feeling at the moment, because later on they may be different, undoubtedly different. So, first of all, warning, this may contain the truth, and, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to start it out with something a little lighthearted and something funny. There was a girl, I'm not going to say what website, and I'm not going to say her name, but it was a website of somebody that a lot of people like, and her name is, uh, doesn't have any X's or numbers in it. Anyways, this girl, she goes on this website for this famous rapper, and she says, hey, this famous rapper invited me here. He invited me here. And that's just so funny, like, and she says, he invited me here because I'm his butterfly girl. And it's almost like, and then this is actually, the only reason I even say anything about it at all is because this is the same girl that said that I sound ignorant. So, coming from the girl who knows one member of ICP, the name of him, that's too much for me, that's too much, man. Eminem, you're cool, but your fans creep me out. Sorry, I gotta say how it is. So yeah, I guess you were invited to Eminem's website, right? Personally, by him, right? Well, just trust me, it's not because he wanted you there, it's because he didn't want you to darken his doorway anymore, okay? Let's be truthful here if we're gonna call other people ignorant, okay? And there's no way that you could be dating somebody that doesn't know you exist. And that goes to all, every girl. I don't know why when it comes to celebrities, they think that they can go, oh, that's my boyfriend. Be logical about it. Would you be sitting at a bus stop, sitting next to a guy that you might think is cute, and then when you get on the bus, be like, oh, that's my boyfriend. Like, to the death defending. It's, it's just disgusting. It makes me sick. But that's not what makes me most sick, and that's not why I'm talking right now. Why I'm talking right now is because Eminem is cool, and I love his rhymes, and I'm all about taking personal responsibility, but now that he's rich, he's just eccentric, he's not crazy anymore, so he's got to kind of watch, like, some of the keywords that come out of his mouth, I'm not talking about, you know, I'm not blaming him for anybody's undoing whatsoever, but he knows he's got to have some power, I mean, come on, let's go, let's, let's get real with it, right, and like, basically, the key word that he used was methadone. It was methadone. That, that was it. And it's like, kids, kids, America, kids, let me tell you, methadone is the last drug you ever want to take. Methadone is not a drug to have fun on. Methadone is a last resort. And if you don't think that it is, then go ahead and, and put yourself into that world. And you'll see how stuck you could really be, you know? And it really sucks that people have to learn the hard way when it comes to shit like this. Even myself. But, like, you know, I know that this is Generation RX, you know? Everyone's doing pills. Everyone's, you know, I met, like, a 19-year-old a girl today at the methadone clinic. And I said, how long you been on this shit? And she said, since yesterday. And it's like, well, you know what? Yesterday is when we should have outed this shit for what it is. Yesterday is when we should have fucking said, yeah, this is just straight up a drug to keep us on, to keep us fucking paying this clinic, and do they have any intentions of getting anyone off methadone? No, they don't. No, it's not a recovery, dude. It's a maintenance. You gotta take it just like everything else on this earth and use it to your advantage. Because being addicted to opiates, pills, is not cool in any manner whatsoever. If you're over the age of 25, you might know that. But, you know, I just thought it was important to bring up that, you know, by no means am I a doctor, by no means am I a counselor. You know what? I'm a, I'm a street kid. I'm a patient. You know what? And I'm telling you for real that if somebody like me doesn't say how it really is, nobody ever will. And the truth of the matter is, is the last place you want to be is in line at a fucking methadone clinic. Don't fucking do it. Stay away from it. Smoke some weed. 
chill out, do your thing, find out who the fuck you are, and then figure it out. That's it. That's all I gotta say for today. But, uh, you know, good luck, and, uh, I know everybody's got their own battle, and I know that it's not easy. Every day I know it's not easy, but I know that that there's something so much larger than all of this, and that at the end of the night, it's here, and it's here. Your heart. It's your heart, and it's your, it's your brain. And that's what you have to deal with at the end of the day. Only that. And you remember that every day.